Brenda Walsh is supplementing Cary Street to the Elkhorn, uh, the Dixiana Elkhorn, on Saturday. Tell me why you made the decision to go in the spot and pay the extra money. Um, you know, he's ready to run, Tom. We had um, we had an allowance race on the dirt in mind from last week, and I think the race didn't fill. Um, kind of all as a stepping stone to you know some of the longer races as the year goes on so he's, he's ready to run um, and we basically had no other alternative so we've been kind of think toying with the idea for a while to maybe try him on the grass at some point you know it's a mile and a half race there's nothing else for a little while so we thought you know let's let's take a shot and uh, and see the distance of Suda anyway for sure the grass who knows you know his his mother I believe won a, a grade three in England um, on the turf so you know who knows I mean Sars never ceases to, uh, to amaze me. He uh, was so good out at Santa Anita last year. Anything physically that happened in the Hawthorne race or just a bad day? They turned him over in the gate. Um, the horse beside him started to, to mess around in the gate, and they grabbed his ear, and he flipped over in the gate. They, they stared him, basically. And, um, you know, after that, he just wasn't at the races. So I think we can just draw a line through that. You know. As far as uh, coming off, off the layoff, you think he's, if he likes the surface, ready to run his best race? He's training super, as good as, as he's ever trained. Um, doing really well, doing really well. Been working good for him. He's never the best worker in the world anyway. But just his whole demeanor and everything, I'm, I couldn't be happier with him where he's at right now. The horse you ran in the Transylvania, uh, Saham, gave away a lot of experience to two horses that finished only slightly ahead of him. That had to be an encouraging performance. Yeah, in a real good race. I think he'll move up a lot from it. I don't know that he was in love with the ground either today. And then, you know... The pace situation, it was tricky. We kind of had to had to pressure Wesley's horse a little bit more than maybe we would have liked. But, you know, we were, we were stuck in that spot, and, and that's just the way it goes sometimes. But he ran a really nice race. He's only beaten a length, so, you know, it was only his fourth ever run. So this one you've got some high hopes for? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's another one, you know, we've been taking our time with him and letting him develop, and I think as time goes on, I think he'll, he'll be a really nice horse.